What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. Welcome back. Excited that you're joining us. This is going to be a fun show. This is going to be a, a, a historical show. There's something on this show that's never happened before. We'll talk about it momentarily. But as you see in the bottom there, Carbon Health, man. I'm so excited to be working with Carbon Health. I love Carbon Health, and this episode is presented by them. And if you didn't know, Carbon Health has over 110 locations nationwide, man. There are 80 locations in California, the Bay Area, Los Angeles, Sacramento, North San Diego. They're great. They have advanced care for most urgent care facilities. They have the ability to handle x-rays on location. You don't have to go in somewhere else to get the review and an x-ray. You can start a relationship with a professional that you can trust and take care of yourself before major issues arise. We're really, really excited to be working with them. And we have been working with them on a couple of different things, whether it was the, the, the Monday episodes of this show with um, the Andor stuff that I've been doing. So excited to be working with Carbon Health. So also excited because we're going to be talking about Andor. We're going to be talking about stand-up comedy. We're going to be talking about just the things in general, man, the things that we're watching on TV. And I got both Mark Ellis and Brett Sheridan on the show today. What? Yep. And that never happens. The only time, I mean, <laughs> at one point they were on uh, schmoes together, but but never never at the big thing. This is this is going to be fun. So let's get into this. It is the big thing. It's me. It's Mark Ellis and Brett Sheridan. Let's do it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the big thing. Um, thank you, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Everybody's been listening on audio. The numbers have been going up, so thank you for that. If you're putting a comment, a like, people who join Patreon, so many new people joining Patreon, thank you for that. So, you wanted it, you got it, ladies and gentlemen. He's back. Hey! The carrots, did it. The carrots of baby. Oh, my God. Nice the numbers are going up. People are subscribing to the Patreon. Yeah, Everybody's man. very excited, and I'm here to quash all that. Yes, <laughs> Get true. rid of it. Look at who you're sitting next to. Hey. Look at that. You know, Brett and I had a great run on Schmo's No together, oh. the live show, and then uh, that falling out was just brutal. It was yeah, a, it was rough. But why, you yeah. know, we 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 talked it out. Yeah. Why yeah. do you hate you know, each other? We, <laughs> we we've never talked it out before. <laughs> Ever. I dislike him for so many different reasons. <laughs> I mean, it's very easy to dislike him. I just have. No, I've never had any ill will. I've never had anything but love for Brett Sheridan. Uh, you, we've been through our ups and downs, <laughs> but Brett Sheridan, <laughs> what a what a joy he always. You know, we don't communicate as much anymore, and I'll tell you the reason why. And Brett can co-sign this. Uh, we both kind of fell out of love with NBA Top Shot. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. It's got a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, man, we were. We're really in we were involved we were texting daily like hey man there's a pack drop are you in are you in the queue and that's it and then it just was like you know what right. I, I think watching 20 year olds dunk a basketball for four <laughs> seconds maybe not the best hobby no nope. uh maybe not the best way to make a long-term financial plan no, no, no. but i'll tell you so. what man this guy is a, he's he's been here every day the reason you see like this the, the way well first of all the audience themselves do you know did i tell you the amazon list that we did he, he had an idea and is there a, is there a twenty thousand dollar glass chandelier? No, no, yeah, no right, not right, this right, right. on the no, wish Because I think you could probably, <laughs> probably do Jerry no. rig it in here. He was because I was like, look, we need all these things that we got to try to do. He's like, and he's like, I've done a wish list before, and I was like, oh, I'll, we'll try it. And, we'll, yeah. we, and he and I thought we were going to get what three, four things, yeah. and then, dude, these lights, the screens that you see, like so many, and then gentle giant sending in these. These are cool. They're like, cool, right? You, you showed yeah. me the one. I mean, they, I mean, Storm when you see when you see Storm Shadow, yeah. you just think of that rivalry. Storm Shadow Snake Eyes, it's up there with Red Sox Yankees easily. You know, it, yeah. it's up there with Ohio State Michigan. It's yeah. like it's one Whoa. of the all time great rivalries. Speaking of Red Sox and, and Yankees, how about that game the other day? God, the the games have been great. The yeah. drama has been great, and I am. I mean, again, everybody knows how I feel about the Yankees. I regard them. them with quite an amount Love. of disdain. Oh. But it it I'm telling you, it all goes away when Aaron judges at bat. Because right. this number that he's been chasing, Roger Maris's, they call it the American League record, which it is. It sixty-one is still the magic number. I was going to ask you to me. You, so that's what I was going to ask you. Do you because he they asked Aaron Judge, mm -hmm. and he, I mean he's paying respect, and he says that Bonds is the record. Do, yeah. you, do you think sixty-one is the record? I think Judge is doing all the right PR plays. Yeah, I think that even when you see him hang in the batter's box, he's he's not trying to overextend himself he's just doing that's his swing right. that was born on top of mount olympus and i feel like 61 is the magic number it doesn't mean that i wasn't entertained thoroughly watching the summer 98 but it's even legit. watching bonds chase it it was yeah. still fun it was must see tv 
to right. watch that guy get intentionally walked four times. Right. But to see this and to at least, you know, cross your fingers and hope that this is legit and, and this isn't a juicing, which I don't think it is. I just think Aaron Judge is well, just that now, naturally crazy, talented. Right. And, and I think he plays by the <laughs> rules. You know they're sticking, they're going, dude, Get over you were yeah. testing your ass because if it comes yeah. back that this is bad. Can't have this happen again. We cannot have this happen Can't again. have it you happen know he's again. being tested like a maniac. Yeah. You know he is. Yeah. And and you see what chasing a home run record did to Roger Maris. I mean, Roger Maris, all his hair fell out. It was just so stressful towards the end. Yes, but different. And and I Because he's chasing well, the Bambino. That's part one. Part two is that he didn't have Roger Maris didn't have that. He was just like a farm boy kind of. He wasn't ready for the big lights. He wasn't one of the. He wasn't a, Aaron Judge is already a big star. Aaron Judge is a tall tale in the way that he's not Mickey Mantle or obviously Babe Ruth yet as far as a career no, goes. But he's already a star. But he looks like right. Uh, he looks like a Paul Bunyan type, right. uh, you know, a John Henry type. He looks like he should be hitting 61 home. Yeah, Roger, Roger Maris, Maris never did. looked like no. he should be, even though Roger Maris, what, it was two. Two-time AL MVP, I think. Right. And one bunch of World Series. I mean, the, the guy's a legend for a reason. Oh, 100%. But, but yeah. what do you think about all well, this? Well, I'm just sitting here, and I, I see Mark look to me like I'm going to add anything to I'm this conversation. I'm including you Wait. in the conversation. <laughs> no, you can, though. Tell, well, you, this we, is actually, what I, we, had, we actually had a great conversation about this yesterday. Go well, ahead. I, I just hearken back to the days where Babe Ruth, you know, would juice himself on hookers <laughs> and cocaine. Right. You know, I mean, what a, I mean, what a Cinderella story that was. It's like the, the hot dogs. Was, no, hot, hot dogs. dogs. The man was the picture of health. <laughs> And just <laughs> knocking them over the, the the wall, you know. Google Babe Ruth's breakfast every morning. <laughs> just Google old timey breakfast because, like, back in the day in the 1900s, Teddy Roosevelt would wake up and eat like three Damn. elks. Oh. Like it would just just <laughs> throw him on the grill, and just, then he'd wrestle a bear before yeah. noon, and yeah. then he'd be ready to start his day. That's oh it. yeah, these kids these days with their granola and shit. <laughs> it's yeah. snowflakes. Snowflakes. What are you having for he's breakfast? A <laughs> she never put a that. hot dog and a cigarette in your mouth and yeah. shut up. Take a pancake, put a live <laughs> raccoon in the middle of it, and that's your dinner. It's not. Oh, I'm just gonna have some yogurt and some trail mix. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I, I gotta ask you an honest question. Something I've been wanting to ask yeah. you. Yeah. You took care of my dog. I took care of the dude uh, twice now. Uh, two and zero. Now, when he was with you, Bro brought him back to you both times. Yeah, you did when he was with you. Uh huh. Did he have his conk out all the time? <laughs> this dog has his conk out mm -hmm. all the time. And it's one thing if it's just like you get it, he's a year old. But if you get like a little excited and you're playing and, and, it come, and the red rocket comes out, that's one uh. thing. This dog was taking a shit the other day and his cock was out. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's just like, hey. Sometimes it feels really good. <laughs> you gotta air it Sometimes out. Sometimes it's a good a feeling. Airing it out is not sticking it towards the moon. <laughs> That's the thing about the dude is that he's lovable. He's such a sweetheart of a boy. I think he's got some, he's how do I say this? Odd sexual proclivities. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like he's starting to mature. He's starting to get into his teenage years. And sometimes you just see a gal and you want to dance with her. Sometimes <laughs> you you're a shit. little, you have a fetish and you're like, you know what? She's a beautiful girl. I'd love for her to take a shit on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah, or I'm gonna take a shit and show her what I got. That, I, it, that's it, that's literally know? what he does. But it, yeah. it really is off putting um, for me <laughs> because I I have a, a girl dog. I have right. Molly, and so when I'm I'm petting Molly and she's enjoying it, she'll roll over on her back, and then I pet her tummy, and it's great. It's it, it's yeah. innocent. Yeah. The dude, you start petting him, and he's loving. It, and he rolls over, and I'm like, oh Jesus, what yeah. is that thing? <laughs> Put I'm the lipstick he's away. He's a happy ending, yeah. and he's like. <laughs> I'm saying, is, is this part of being a dog owner? Yeah, he's just like, hey, this, hey, yeah. look. He's like, you brought me into this. You brought me into this. <laughs> and then Christian would, 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 every time I have the dude, he'll FaceTime me at night so, you know, so the girls can, can see the dude before they go to bed. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm waiting for the time when Christian FaceTimes me. And I'm like, hey, man, I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> I, you, you call back in five after I get a chance to clean it up. He's a reduced, Mark, had a rough day. Did you guys see the episode of Big Thing? Mark Ellis canceled for bestiality claims. <laughs> like the dude and I have a good time. We yeah. have a good time, and he's a sweet boy. Never peed in my place. No, no, you never know peed in my place. You know what's bizarre about that? He was pissing in the house for a little bit, yeah, and he well. finally, and he finally stopped. He goes. To, I, I said to Mark when Mark took him the first time. By the time I, he took him, the second I got a time, warning, and I said, "Look, he might, he might piss in the house." And and I got him back, and Mark goes, "Oops." Mark goes, uh, <laughs> no. Speaking of which, <laughs> wait a minute. Why, why is this? Why? I love how you're the host of the show. It's your studio. Yeah. Brett has the ultimate control. <laughs> Brett just did the chick hern. When I raise my hand, yeah. get me the hell off camera. Yeah, when I do the fist, you stop talking, Christian. 
<laughs> this is the wizard look, behind look the curtain right over here. Fucking Emperor Palpatine yeah. over here. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> he's got some, he's, he's having stomach problems, Mark. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, good. You really feel like you're back home <laughs> when <laughs> Christian has a fart machine at his disposal. 100%. Christian's just blowing ass. Sheridan's over here like, I would not like to be on camera. <laughs> just here. I'm just, I'm running the show from now on. This is just brutal. You got this nice studio and you guys are still stinking it up with your clouds of gas. He comes, I'll be working out here and he'll come in. I'm like, might not want to come in yeah. for a little yeah. bit. Because as soon as you left the door, I was just it out. <laughs> Especially like when I'm squatting down doing like like building these shells. So I hit the age where if I squat for That's any it. reason. Comes mm -hmm. out. Did yeah, you nail, something comes out. Did you nail it right before Steph came in here? No, no, I, I knew she was coming. So you get here early outside. when when a lady's coming in. Yeah, you that make sure you that, come in. That shed is like a is, is like Chernobyl. Oh yeah, <laughs> that shed back out that there? shed back there. Yeah, with him. <laughs> what is he just when he has to rip ass? He just runs out there and just shoots it, and then just comes back in like nothing happened. Probably it's bad. God, anyway. I feel bad for everybody else who has to come in this day. I'm used I to would. it. I yeah. can handle it. Well, you haven't been back in a while. I have the you know why? Callus. You know why? Because Mark's been working, and Mark's working hard. Look at that. Mm. October 6th and October 7th, Mark's going to New York City, baby, featuring Ken Napsock. Hack. And it is... <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> you go to markellis.live and get the tickets. New York Comedy Club, which I love. I love that club. And I yeah. will, and I will you say... You hit the boards there. Someone, I think I was on the, the Patreon uh, stream, and Ed Harrell had asked me um, about that show. He's like, is there any chance... That you'll be on that show. Is there a chance? There was a chance. And Mark, it's as, high as, enough. As, it's as, long enough. As Mark has always been so generous, he invited me to that show. But I, I was just able, not able to make it. Uh, I'm so excited. It's always a fun show at that club, though, man. I love that. I oh love yeah, that yeah. They're great. Uh, Going to have a lot of. Uh, I mean, you know, it, losing you sucks, but I also have an opportunity to have a lot of my New York City buddies pop into the show. So you get to see a lot of great yeah. comics. Is Vince, and, is Vince uh, hosting? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, well, that that's the hope. I'm I'm talking to Vince, so okay, hopefully he can work it out because that guy's him. international. I mean, he goes all over. He the does. Place. I love that yeah. kid, man. He's so, just, he's just such a good dude. Yeah, and, and I'm just excited to be there. I mean, it's Comic Con week, and so uh, I I love getting to work out the new stuff there. And this particular time, I have, you know, I have a goal in mind. Yeah. Because I'm working towards December third, which is when I tape my next special. What? So, taping uh taping the new one. Look at that. Um. So the, uh, the new hour special is in Los Angeles, and you can get tickets at markellis.live. They went on sale literally today. So That's it's awesome. at Dynasty Typewriter, which is a great venue for stand-up, and it's also a beautiful, it's the historic Hayworth Theater, and it's just a great-looking venue. You walk in, and it's like one of those old-timey theaters. The smell of freshly popped popcorn just hits you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm really excited Let about it. Let me ask you a question. Um, one, Brian Ward designed Yes. Okay. That's that's part one. Yeah. Guy's part, a legend. Part two is over with as one word. Is that is that is that on purpose? Um, I just kind of like that as the working title for the okay. special. Um, what? over with is generally not a compound word, okay. but the way that we use it in society is over with. Let's just get it over okay. with. All right. You know. I so, like it. so it was intentional. I like that. As long as it flies by you, it does. The king of grammar, <laughs> me, a hundred percent. The guy who hasn't employed a gerund in thirty years ever. <laughs> It's Diagram true. a sentence, right? No. I said play with my ball back to somebody the other day. Is that kind of? Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, Christian's doing his show notes. He's like, how do we get the week off to a good start? I know. My dog's penis. That's really going <laughs> to set the about, tone. Yeah, let's talk about dog cock. Yeah, I mean, that's really. I, I mean, Welcome back to Let's Talk About Dog Cock. Let's talk about it. Let's talk, talk about, about it. it. You should have seen. That's my closer for the special. <laughs> yeah, the dude like, coming on stage. Whipping his fucking prick out. Yeah, just yeah. wear a, wear a uh, poncho if you're in the front row, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get nasty out there. Well, oh, hey, look, maybe you're into that kind of thing. Who knows? But but New York New York is gonna be fun. It's always fun. Mm -hmm. And you got you doing that show. How many seats uh, does the L.A. theater hold? Uh, I think it's around three hundred. Oh, nice. I say. That's great. Maybe three fifty. I I don't know. So uh, so you can buy the tickets. Very limited number of VIP tickets available. So if you want to pick up those, um, you can grab them. What do you get at the VIP? Yeah. Uh, you get to meet me oh, afterwards. Okay, cool. You get preferred seating. And um, I am having another friend of ours that I can't quite announce yet do oh. a cool uh a cool flyer. So okay. <clears throat> for because the the Rolling Stones, I totally stole this from Mick Jagger. The Rolling Stones when they were touring, 
uh, this past time, and I got to see them at SoFi twice. They uh, have these cool things that they, I think they just post on social media, but it's the set list, and it's a really cool design. So I want to do that for the special, like have like, you know, my sort of set list yeah. in like a cool sort of flyer mode that you can get after the show. So That's great. You know, oh, good. So still doing sure. a lot of stuff. And uh, so I got New York. The 6th and the 7th of October. And then the next weekend, I'll be headlining the legendary La Jolla Comedy Store in San Diego. And then the end of October, I go to Seattle to tell some jokes. So all those tickets should be up on sale at the uh, website, Mark I like that. I like that a lot. Um, good for you. Good, <laughs> good for you. It's perfect timing because December 3rd, I plan on being in the best shape of my life. Had a brutal workout this morning. December 4th. Through the end of the I year, just go <laughs> Santa Claus is getting jolly again. Did I tell you that? Um, and a lot of this is Mark, Mark, and Kate and Brett actually helped when I was getting back into doing it again. They were very. I'm not very familiar cool. with her, Kate. Kate, Kate Mulahan. Mulahan. Never heard of her. Never. Anyway, so I, I was doing Love flappers you. a lot. French fries. I was telling him I got uh, I got an email yesterday. I got made a regular at that club. At flappers. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I got I got two now. <laughs> Look at you! you got so, flappers. You got the comedy yeah, store. I feel like flappers give you your Letterman's jacket yet. I feel like an asshole though, because the reason why, like they, I, I why got, why today? <laughs> well, because in this day in particular, <laughs> and I got I got this particular I got this email and it said um, <laughs> you, that you are you know congratulations you're you're regular and I didn't. Even, to it, I don't think, but they, but they, I guess they saw the tape from from uh, Jake's show. Dear right. Christian, your repeated attempts to become a regular <laughs> yeah, in the club. Yes. Yeah, right. You can do it in the backyard. You can do it in the in the alley. <laughs> the cooks throw out the rest of the shit. Um, but they and they and they gave me a spot, and it was like a Saturday night, yeah. which is a good spot. It was like at nine o'clock, mm -hmm. and I was like, I can't do it because I have a family. <laughs> oh, and, yeah, right. Is that what you said? No, I didn't say that. But it, it, to be fair, it was like they gave it to me like the day before. And I was just, I was thinking yeah. if I had prepared for a little bit. But I remember I, my, my 30 year old self reached through my body and started strangling yeah. me. I'm like, you're, you're turning away. And like, there's. Oh, yeah. You but, cancel everything for a Saturday for night a, spot I, like I, that. I know. So yeah. I, and I had to do it. But you know, that's also when I know how to give, when I can actually put in my avails and everything too. But it's good to be at least in the rotation to be able to yeah. do that again. Um, and great, great venue. Great yeah, venue. It is. And, the, and they have one of the cooler pictures I've ever seen in one? a comedy club. In the lobby, in between the main room and the Yoohoo room, they have a picture of this is the it was the first day that Prohibition ended, and it was taken at like a bar. I want to say like New York City, and it's just a picture of everybody drinking, drinking. in public oh, and right. just having the best time. I haven't seen it. Because you see time. people from the old timey, and you see like you know Babe Ruth doing like yeah, the weird yeah. like movements, and you know it, like like the camera quality. But when you just see a still picture, it's like that that could have been any one of us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, that was. That was uh, I see where I was in 1920. Right. I see Brett Sheridan. I see you in that picture. That was Brett you know? last Thursday. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, I mean. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the guy enjoys New Orleans. He certainly yes. does. What we've covered. It's true. Yeah. Um, and you, I know you're watching. Uh, you know, you watching football? I'm watching a lot of athletics. You betting mm. at all? No, but I would love a way to do it. Well, let me tell you about my book. <laughs> huh? Uh, listen, man, this is actually a great idea, and uh, you might you might actually get pretty excited when you hear this because you guys know football and you pick winners all the time so why not get paid for them get paid for them at my bookie you bet single game spreads money lines parlay multiple together to increase your payouts there's a low contest entry fee and over half a million to be won make it so you don't have to be a pro gambler to have fun so getting started is very easy you just visit mybookie.ag and use the promo code big thing on your first and uh, your first deposit to secure a double deposit bonus so you put in 100 and guess what you have 200 to bet with that's, that's a win that's promo code big thing and get your first deposit match dollar for dollar all the way up to a thousand bucks my bookie is a proven sports book that makes it simple to bet and win so make this your winning season exclusively at my bookie telling you man like this my bookie thing it's like they they keep coming back here because people are using them and they should be using them because that's a deal love it that's a deal like, i uh i love the money line i love the straight who's gonna win who's gonna lose and i love parlaying it so i'll do like three or four games and then it just kind of keeps you invested all day yeah. very rarely do i bet on my commanders that's I, I still get used to that, but uh, it's uh, yeah I, I can't do it like i i, I bet on the hey. yankees once and i and even though they won i felt bad about it I can't, yeah, I, I don't want. I don't want to. It's like you're mortgaging your love yeah. of a team. No. I'll bet on everybody else. I'll always bet against the Cowboys, though. I love doing. I love it's fun. I love doing that. I love rubbing it in Winston's face. Like they won last week, <laughs> but like, but it's always fun because because they're not great this year, and I love that. They weren't great anyway, and then they lose a quarterback like Dak, and right? 
Now they're, tr- they're in more trouble. So it's f- it's fun to watch Winston in despair on the, on the shows here. To, I to, love a Winston in despair yeah. just when it comes to the Cowboys. Just Everything cow- else about him, I yeah. root for him in his personal life. Yes. But with, with the Cowboys, we yeah. play them in. Uh, you make in choices. A weeks, so. You make choices in it. You know, that's it. I, yeah, I don't know who. I I didn't see. No, that's the thing. I didn't make the choice for me. I no, was born I, into this yeah, life. That's true. I think Commanders. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm. I was born into this I'm life. Always, I'm always going to pull for anybody playing the uh, playing again Cowboys. playing the Cowboys. Yeah. Same. It's fun. It's anybody playing the Cowboys, anybody playing the Red Sox, anybody playing the Gators. Those are, that's that's usually how I'm. Oh, there's well, Gators now. There's Gators. <laughs> they just set them loose on the field. So yeah. It makes it really it's not even, fun. It's not even a team. I'm more of yeah. a Browns man yeah. myself. No, it's Gators. It, <laughs> it's Gators, and they all have the dicks out. <laughs> I worked so at a Browns bar. Did you really? Yeah. How did that go? That was four guys drinking coffee, <laughs> <laughs> just sitting in their misery. Yeah. Every that's, Sunday, I went to a Browns game one time. I was on the road in uh cleveland and the i did a show like like saturday night and i did a bit about washington probably our our, our former team name and the, this guy comes up after me and he's like hey i am the uh, the head of pr for the cleveland uh indians and uh, who are now the guardians so it was a lot of racist nicknames right. going on and he's like you, you want tickets to the game tomorrow you know i'll, I'll put them in will call for you i'm like yes so i get to go to cleveland stadium to watch, and this was the season that RG3 was playing. He yeah, had just yeah, gotten yeah. hurt, so Kirk Cousins comes in. He has a great game. We win. I'm sitting next to a bunch of Cleveland fans. Could not have been nicer people. Could not have been drunker people. Mm. They start doing shots at like 8 a.m., <laughs> and this was a 4 o'clock kickoff. This was the late game, and they were telling me they were tailgating since God knows when, probably the previous night, because that's how last, you cope. last year. Yeah, as a Cleveland right. fan, and uh, but they, they were really sweethearts. I've been really impressed by that fan base, and then when I went to the opening of Allegiant Stadium to watch the Raiders Monday night game, the Raiders – look like the scariest fan base on earth oh, yeah. on TV. And I was sitting yeah. fifth row in the black hole, in the end zone. Darth Vader's right there. Spiky shoulder pad guy's right next to me. Could not have been nicer fans. That's Could great. not have been sweeter. I love hearing that. I love hearing that. So it's 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 a lot of times. Dodger, the other time I went to a Dodger game, mm-hmm. and I remember people going, oh, you go to a Dodger game. It's like going to the Thunderdome. Very nice people. Yeah. Who are they playing? When uh, it was It was the Reds. Because when they start playing the Giants, that's when yeah, it gets no, a little no, it dicey. It, was, it yeah. wasn't the Giants. It was like the Reds or something. Yeah, those bleacher seats. Like, but all you ever see from, from professional sports stadiums now is just the crap that makes it to social media. And so it's never just going to be like right. people politely cheering. It's going to be fights. Highlights. And I've seen yeah. some good fights Major, I, I at spent, Rams games. I've spent a many time, as you know, on, yeah. on, on the YouTubes watching random fight videos. <laughs> I can tell you that a two-hour block of that has been watching sports – Stadium fights. And it's just tons of them. It, it like starts it, with a beer with a beer thrown in someone's face. If I was a parent, though, I'd be like, I don't know that I want to take my kid to it because this is well, the only thing on where I'm you sit. It this is the, on, yeah. It depends on where you sit. These are I've seen fights in good seats. Very rarely do you see you know on like near the dugout though. Very rarely do you see dugout fights. Front row, you don't see no. But I'm not shelling that out for my kid. No, He's got to right. hoof it in the nosebleeds the way that we all did when we were you. Why has it got to be a hit? Yeah. Because I am only having men. <laughs> I'm Mark making a football team. Mark Ellis canceled for BC yeah. only and only having men. That's right. Uh, unbelievable. If you heard the previous story of me jerking your dog off, <laughs> would you want me to have a, a well, female what, child? Let me, let me ask you a question. Are you, you want ba- me to be are raising? You, are you banging right now? If you am are, I you should be using joy mode. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> joy mode, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. I'll tell you, joy mode. If Time you, to get back in the game. If you didn't know what joy mode was, Mark, so you know like if you're walking around, you're at the uh, the gas station, you look over, they got those hard-on That's pills. where you think I'm hitting on girls. Oh. No, well, not where you're hitting on girls, but you look over. If you, hey, if you're buying what's that, yourself, unleaded? Yeah, right. yeah when, I like that, too. When you got yourself some of your cores light. <laughs> no, they have like your, the, those little bags. It, do you know how horrible those things are for you? <laughs> Don't take are, it, kids. They are so bad for yeah. you. They will explode your asshole out. Like, yeah. Uh, you don't... It, it bad. You don't want to use them. They're really bad for you. Um, even a lot of the stuff that you get over, like the, the over-the-counter stuff, is is not. It's 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 not good for you. This joy mode is what it is. It's more of a uh, pre-workout, like the way it's, mm-hmm. you go to the gym. Yep. This is a pre-workout for sex, and I can tell you, it's legit and it's good. And it's not a matter of oh, well, well, I don't have any of those problems. It has nothing to do with that. If you have the problems, it'll certainly help you. But that's not what it's there for. It's, it's also there to, it, it just, it spruces up the mood, man. Brad, you, you, you did the joy mode. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it, Lonnie's still recovering. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the best. It, it, re- it, re- it really is fantastic. I'm telling you, you go to, just go to usejoymode.com. 
slash the big thing for a discount there. Use joymode.com slash the big thing. And I can tell you what, it is, it, you don't, what you don't want to do is use one of these things and you got a seven hour hard on. Nobody wants that. <laughs> this is like, it, I can tell you, you use it and you recover well. And it says you're done. It's over. And you feel like, oh, it is that pre workout for sex. It's joy mode. It's incredible. I'm glad that they're back. They're one of my favorites, man. They're a lot of fun. So check them out. Use joymode.com slash the big thing. Get yourself a discount now. That's what I like, man. That's the good stuff. Because, yeah, like, it, I, I did the, I, I've, I've done the pill before, um, you know, for, for giggles. Yeah. Because, like, they'd send us free samples of stuff. There's some that are okay. There are I, some, but not, but this is, I, this is it's different. It's too long. Yeah. yeah. All right. That, that's the thing. I'm done. That's the thing. She's asleep. Right. I'm watching TV. And you're like, dude, taking a shit. Still right. here. <laughs> right. Right. Still here. I'm like, I, okay. I yeah. got a, I no. got a kickstand for my beer. You no. Know, and I, and I get that. This, but this is, uh, this is, this is, Obviously, you know, when you take a supplement for work. I'm into joy I mean, mode, yeah. Out. Yeah, this is natural this, supplement. This there is, you go. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, all right, what are you uh what are you watching right now cuz uh, besides sports, I know you're watching sports right now, but uh, okay. so Roxy can't get enough of this show with Steve Carell and uh, The Patient? Dawn. You uh, watching it? The Patient or the yeah, Morning patient, Show? The Patient. Cuz I I blew through the Morning Show and I was like, "Why did not? and and I know people have been recommending it, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I I love The Morning Show. Love the Patient. And then The Patient. Have you watching it? Woo! Is it great? Yeah, but okay, I, I got I got to talk to to yeah. Roxanne about this because I from the trailers of the Patient, yeah, I was misled. Oh, I'm probably a dummy. What are you misled about? I thought Carell was the serial killer. Oh, um, no, I didn't. I see yeah, the dumb. ad and I see that he's chained to something, and I thought he was this therapist who also kind of like a Hannibal Lecter, like he was this brilliant therapist. Yeah but was also a serial killer. So in order for him to continue to see the patients that need him so desperately that they just chained him up so he couldn't get you know, <laughs> that. Many, how, how many course lights did you have when you were watching the trailer? It's it's a negligible amount, <laughs> which means for me, five or six. Because that trailer is pretty clear that he's the doctor. I don't It It, it might have been... <laughs> I think I just saw the tease because, like, I was watching yeah. something else on Hulu, yeah. and it was like the fifteen second tease, and I see Carell chain, and I see Donal. Nobody's gonna think Donal Gleason's no. a serious. He's a sweetheart of a boy. I mean, unless you, unless you. <laughs> no, he was even hucks. good in the galaxy far, far away. He ended up doing the right thing, kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, I don't want you. I don't care about you. I just want him to lose. The what? Sh the show Talking itself. About. Yeah. The show itself is uh, is really well done, and the problem I have with it too though, short. It's too short to not be able to binge. Yeah. Because it's still, it's a weekly show. It drops once a week, yeah, yeah. and that is torture. Well, why not wait and binge it once it's all out? Because I don't have don't that kind of willpower. That. Oh, okay. Well, there's <laughs> yeah. other stuff that you can I didn't discover it until week four or oh, whatever. So you, she just blew through it. So I blew through the uh, the first four episodes, and then I was like, all right, here comes the next one. What are we like, at right oh, now? Uh, um, I'm at five. I'm through five. Okay, so I haven't watched any of them. Is that yet. the Hulu's? Yeah, the Hulu's. Hulu. Yeah, it's, but is it Hulu? Is it FX? Hulu? Oh, it's on. It, it's FX Hulu, I believe. Yeah. I'll tell you, FX is doing some great stuff. Did you huh? get a chance to watch the Old Man? Was yeah, it? yeah. That show, How men. great were those dogs? No, yeah, they were great. They ended the that that fantastic. show. Now that show ended abruptly, obviously because of Jeff. That, when they were filming it, that's when they found out about Jeff Bridges' cancer. I was I was I was wondering if it was before or after. It was during. Okay, yeah, and All I right. think that's why they had such an abrupt ending. Yeah. Um, but so, man, I was riveted the whole time watching. Me too. That. Do you know John Watts directed like the first two? Did he really? Yeah. Good for those him. Those are the best ones. I just I've always loved. I mean, Jeff Bridges is a national treasure. John Lithgow. Is yeah. celebrated, still doesn't get enough run for me. I agree. He's he doesn't get enough credit. He's, he's a legend. Absolutely. Elevates everything. You know, he was the voice of Yoda on the uh, the original Star Wars uh, radio play. Really? The what? movies, the classic trilogy would come out, and then uh, they would have actors acted out on the radio because people could not get Yoda. enough Star Wars. I could see him pulling out of Yoda. And he was Yoda. That's pretty great. <laughs> Um, well, so the patient is heavily recommended by a lot of people. Yeah. Roxy talked about it on our on, on our episodes. You have the Hulu. You, am I going to be getting a text about I, password? No, I can I can do the Who's. Okay, yeah, I can right. Hulu it up. Yeah. that's one that's I could keep forgetting because we're like, what should we do now? Because right. when we finish Game of Thrones and uh, uh, House of Dragon, or no, Same House way. of Dragon and uh, L L O T R. Oh, okay. Did you watch it last night to L O T R? No, no, we didn't. I mean, I missed. I, I watched the first. Uh, I watched the first um, twenty minutes. <laughs> and what happened? 
<laughs> Too many L. <laughs> Have you been watching it? No. No. So no. what do you know about it? Yeah. No, uh, but I was, why did you turn it off after 20 minutes? I was exhausted. You don't have to tell me the plot. You don't have to be said, like, well, Galadriel yeah. oh, what, you're saying, had this what, weird Galadriel. turn. You're saying what happened when you didn't finish it. Yes. Um, so I, I think <laughs> I care about the... <laughs> Maybe. So listen. You had to wait. Like during when we were, when we were doing Schmoes and yeah. the prequels happened... Like every twenty minutes, Christian's like, "Hey, man, you can't. You're snoring. You have to wake up." I'm like, "Are the have any of the five armies oh, the lost yet?" Mean, right, right. Um, it's doing an elimination yeah, tournament here. So while well, I was watching, it was, I'm watching the MC. We're watching the MCU with Vivi. She's never mm -hmm. seen it before. Oh man, so, she must just be lighting up. She's loving it. So we're watching. We're finishing Iron Man three last night. It's amazing how well this audience. You know, I, I posted a picture, just a picture of explosions, and I write, what movie is this within seconds? Iron Man 3, <laughs> asshole. I saw thing. you post that. Yeah, yeah. And like, I thought it was the dude climaxing. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it. But he, either, either way, so we were... Um, Why'd the dude come fire? I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, he had, he had the... He had the been watching too much House of Dragons. That's right. <laughs> Have you, that, we got to talk about that. Did he get in okay, the joy mode? Let's talk about this first. <laughs> Before you, but before you ask me the question, yes, uh, I think I'm just I'm I'm taking a little hiatus. I'm taking a 20, 20 second to from all fantasy shows. Mm. I just even House of the Dragon. I can't. Do, I I just want a good novel about a bridge. Have you like, watched I any don't House of the Dragon? No, dude. It's I don't so, want to go it's to so, fantasy world. It's so good. I'm so done it's with the, fantasy realms. No, I want a back. story about one guy on a rocking chair figuring out a murder. And that's it. I'm telling you, man. It has to be a guy show. It's got to yeah. be a guy. It's yeah. got to be an all male cast. <laughs> all dragon. white yeah. male cast. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's all Mark White. That's, that's it. <laughs> I just don't understand why why they can't have white people in shows anymore. Right. They took our mermaid, for God's sakes. <laughs> You're going to get clipped out. <laughs> Probably. It's the dumbest thing in the world is... People freaking out because the. <laughs> right. I literally heard this argument from a redhead. Uh, and I've read people, I've red haired people in my family, okay? So, you know, we don't let them sit Santino. together at the reunion. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, and they were saying that, well, I just think it's so unfair that, that they. They, they took away a red-headed mermaid because because I, I have red hair and, and I never felt seen on screen before <laughs> like that. And I finally felt like I could see myself. And I'm like, how the fuck do you think? <laughs> An entire race of people feel. <laughs> now they finally get to be mermaids and elves, and you can't handle yeah. it. Haven't it's you like, seen the Weasleys, motherfucker? <laughs> the you yeah. been re you've been represented. You had your chance. <laughs> well, you also have the movie. It's still there. <laughs> yeah. No one took it away. Well, they didn't. They didn't, they didn't scrap it. <laughs> <laughs> they scrapped the old one. <laughs> Yeah, let's scrap the old one. <laughs> we, nobody it. wants to see that shit. <laughs> it's like Song in the South. It's yeah, gone. it's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. They you can't, can't find it. it. Uh, well, the, the, the salt water, her skin would not remain. Uh, now why am I Cosby doing <laughs> I'm watching that, by the way. Oh, we I don't want to. talk about Cosby. It's, uh... You know that Freed did that. That's Freed's yeah. movie. Yeah. And holy oh. shit, that's it. It's so fucked up because, um... It was right there in front of us the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Absolutely, but what's so and the way that they started off though, is that what's so what's so much a bummer. And Jake Lewis and I talked about this the other day. Um, he he did so much good. He did a lot of he good. Did so much good, but he did so much bad. Yeah. I think the documentary does a it's wonderful crazy. job of of showing you because you, you're basically setting up to why we cared about this so much and yeah. why we were all so mm -hmm. heartbroken. For the victims and also just for this guy that we thought we knew. And so the documentary has that task of setting him up to be like, look at all the stuff he did. Look at all the, you know, how progressive he was with, with his stunt doubles. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah. Right, right, uh, right, with, right. With, with creating opportunities for work and entertainment and uh, his, his charitable stuff. But it was all. It was there. It was the Larry all. King thing? I mean. Ooh, the Larry King thing was Ooh. bad. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. Did you see? The, oh, with the about the uh, uh, Spanish fly. Yeah. yeah, he's talking about that. He gets so excited about it. It's really, it's, it, it's a great documentary, man. And it, Freed's killing it right now. He's got that. He did Val. He did Chef's got Table. The chef's, chef's Table Pizza. Rexum. Chef's Table Pizza. I, I, I've been it, watching it. It's, it's incredible, yeah. and it's dangerous for me to watch. Why? Because you're just gonna go down that route again? Yep. 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 Yeah. I'll tell you. Okay. I'll watch it's, that December fourth. It's more gourmet, <laughs> like. Pizza than than it is like a New York slice, but it's uh, but it's really good. It's like the fancy. Here's what I'm going to need you to do, Papa if John's. You, if you're done, if you're doing a show in Arizona, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to have to get on that bill 
one way or another. I don't. Want to go to Mellow Mushroom? I don't care. If, no, there's this. There's a place that um, that is. It's the first episode of Chef's Table Pizza that they that they talk about, it. and it's Arizona, and it's this guy who was born in Brooklyn, but he but he created this place, and it's like, watch episode one, and if you go if you go to Arizona, <laughs> yeah, I got. I'll sleep on the couch for the next month because I took the, the guy took the gig. I don't care. I got Where in Arizona? Uh, I want to. I don't think it's. Give me a Tempe. Yeah, let me, a Phoenix, I, I, a Tucson, I, Scottsdale, I'm a Chandler. I'm going to look. Yeah, Mark, you do something. You, you're pretty good at just a talk Prescott. to the camera, will you? All right, hi everybody. Prescott. Thanks for coming back. Uh, this episode of the Big Thing is brought to you not only by Joy Mode, Mode, Mode and by uh, the Bookie, my Bookie, my Bookie. Right. It's Carbon also Hell. brought to you by. Pizza. Now, I've had a lot of pizza in my day, kids. Ooh. I might have recently engaged in the Pizza Hut Detroit-style pizza once again because I fall for pizza gimmicks. <laughs> I can't say no. If it's regular pizza, I'm fine. But if it's like, wait a minute, they put cheese and pepperoni in the crust? Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Even Little Caesars Phoenix. with their spicy little pepperonis that they have now, they're like, oh, these are – they call them old-world pepperonis. <laughs> and I'm like, damn it, Little Caesars, you got me. Well, here it is. Pizza, pizza, pizza me. Pizzeria pizza. Bianco, and it's in um, – Okay. It is in Phoenix. So next time you do Phoenix. Where yeah. in Phoenix? That looks very close to uh, where I was last time. Maybe it's... On uh, Adams? Adams? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much downtown. Yeah. So I... Uh, yeah, at uh, the Stand Up Live is right there. All right. Well, Great we got, comedy we, club. We got to go. Because uh, right. I, I have to... Uh, I watched this episode one. I'm like, I, I got to go. Got to the pizza. I, I got to go. I have to check this out. So... Anyway, he, he's free was doing that. He's doing mm -hmm. he's, there's so much and there's so much great TV on right now. I mean, there's, uh, we had a full episode the other day about what we think like, the best show is. And obviously you asked me a question before that I didn't answer when it came to the Lord of the Rings. So why I bailed on it? I was, yeah. What was the plot point? Well, no, it wasn't a plot point. It was just that it, what I, there's just two answers to the questions. The first is that I was exhausted. I was tired. I was watching the MCU with, with Vivi and I was like, OK, and I was just talking to my wife. And then I, I started watching it at like. I had already watched 20 minutes. I'm like, okay, do I want to watch the rest of it? I want to go to sleep. And I was tired, so I went to bed. But it does also play in that the show's good, but it's not great. And it doesn't hold my interest in a way where I'm going to go, I need to watch. Like Game of Thrones, House of Dra you ain't pulling me away from that TV. I want to watch every second of what's going on. Really? It is phenomenal. I mean, I see the numbers. I see 30 it's, million people watching this thing every week. So It is so good. It is so good. It's, it's easily, like I put, out of the shows that I'm watching right now, I would put... That at number one, Andor at number two, Lord of the Rings at three, and then She Hulk's starting to lose me. I'm 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 about I'm about to bail on She Hulk, but um I haven't I'm, seen She Hulk yet. Love I'm, the first two. I'm love excited them. to start She Hulk at some point, and uh, Andor I'm excited to do once they all come out because th oh, that was okay. the lesson I learned from Obi Wan is that I just got tired of of having to wait a week, mm. and so I think I'm just gonna save it. For when everything's out, they're also but you, and I can watch all of them. But to your point, for the patient, the first three episodes of Andor are like thirty minutes a piece. Okay, so you can binge them. <laughs> yeah, but th but then I'll be like, ah, yeah, that's th true. I'll be I'll be waiting. Well, they they do in these episode arcs. It's I'm, like giving me three wings. It's like, hey, Mark, here's yeah. your buffet plate, and then I go up to the buffet, and it's just all this delicious food. It's like I only get three wings. <laughs> yeah, did that's you watch it yet? No, I haven't. What happened? You been, you were watching everything and you just bailed on I, it. I I have to get. You went soft. Yeah. I have Snow to get uh, Lonnie on board with it. I don't know if she's she wants to do it. I I, I think I'm gonna have to sneak. You're gonna this have one. to do it yourself. The yeah. Andor. What did, so what did you watch last night? Um, last night Lonnie watched her new favorite program, uh, The Untamed. What's that or just Untamed? It's a kind of period piece uh, kung fu kind of a thing. She read the books. Ooh. And uh, we got a reader. Yeah, but it's this. it's the, the the CG is horrible. Is it bad? Yeah. And the like, CG in Lord of the Rings was bad last night, by the way. It's a $50 million show that's, episode, per episode. I was expensive say, program. Yeah. When that uh, wolf creature came out. So you did see it last night? Uh, no, the, the week before. Oh, the week before. Yeah. Um, it's the wolf creature again. It's another wolf that comes it's out. It's so freaking, bad. Those Harfoots are shit. Yeah, the Harfoots are the worst part of the damn show. The is worst. that what they call? Is is it, do they? They're hobbits, right? Yeah, and that's they're, how, they're like the, the, the evolution of the uh, hobbits. It, it's, yeah. it's the shittiest yeah, story. Harfoots. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's so it's. Uh, oh, I get it. You went from Harfoot to Hobbit. <laughs> Powerful. Welcome back to the big thing. Very important show today. We have forty-year-olds <laughs> debating feet in a other realm now. In that period of time, mm. they didn't have that much hair. I got to yeah. tell you that. They, I, I mean, look, it's 300 years or something before Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah. Who cares? We got a lot of work to do to get up Did to. you say 300? I think it's like 1,000. I don't even know. Yeah. I don't care. 
They don't even have the wow. wings yet. Are, no, <laughs> it, we're literally watching him rebel against the show no, before no, no, our no. eyes. No, I, I, when it comes to the math of it, I, I don't. The last episode was really good, and I and I liked it a lot. It's just I'm not done with the episode so far. It's just they start out with the Harfoots thing, and to me. It just, it just, the actors are good. Mark's not going to like it. It's too much no. diversity. I, I, did, I did remember. They got a black elf. You won't like it. I'm in. I'm in. I think they would be the best. I, I think, I think, I think you need, you need more diversity in elves. And you know who is, it, it's not just me saying this. It's Santa Claus. All mm -hmm. right. He's tired of looking at just the lily white workforce <laughs> that's down there making their wooden shoes. Yeah. Get some other elves in there. Make some other products. The, well, the show that I have also yes. watched on Netflix, which is, uh, Samuel? It feels like a good CW program what? is uh, The Devil in Ohio. What is that? Oh, my God. It's fun. It's a fun show, but it's not, you know, it's it's not the highest quality. Okay. <laughs> Emily Deschanel's Sold. in it. And it, this girl is like she escaped from a cult, and like we don't know if she's like for good or for evil, and you know we yeah, kind of yeah. adopt her and all that stuff. But the show is so funny because it takes place in Ohio, and they just want the, the script wants you to know so bad that everybody is in Ohio and they all care about Ohio things. <laughs> oh. So every scene <laughs> starts with them talking about a football game. Oh, this is really <laughs> doesn't matter what they're talking about. So you just like guy goes to the bank to get a loan, and he's like, "Hey, big Browns game this weekend, huh?" <laughs> It doesn't matter. It's like you're literally having an exorcism, and they're like, the power of Christ. Hey, big game with the Buckeyes this weekend. <laughs> what, like, the, what did the boss think about the show? Uh, more Ohioism. More <laughs> Ohio. Give us more Ohio. More Cleveland references. Let me ask you a question, Mark. Will you be watching this? Hold on. I, want, I really want to know if you will be watching this. Oh, is this uh, the Rob Zombie Munsters? Yeah. Wow, what a blessing. I heard you boys had some fun with this movie. <laughs> we, it we, appears that it is still in the cellophane, so they've not actually no, watched. I'm it. just gonna, I won't tell you. I won't tell you who, but I wrote to a, a mutual friend of ours, okay. and I said, "Hey, I got the Munsters um, Blu-ray. Would you want to watch it with us?" The person wrote back, "Fuck you, sir." <laughs> wow, wow. I, I bet I know who it is. I have you a probably, prediction. You probably do, but uh, <laughs> fuck you, sir. And then followed it up by saying. I hope you didn't pay for that. <laughs> I I feel like this is not going to be my cup of tea, but I don't think it's a discredit to what Rob Zombie was intending to do just yet. Because the trailer the came trailer? out and people crapped all over it. I think he's trying to make it look like a hokey TV show. So It doesn't look like that. It looks it like, looks like a hokey TV it, show to me. And as, as I said when Brett and I were talking about it, it looks like a porn without the fucking. <laughs> That's a hokey TV show. Yeah. I don't know. That's... That's, it, it, we, I may hope be, I'm wrong. we may be pleasantly surprised. It looks like he a show where they're, a, they're just throwing together whatever props they could have gotten in the 1960s when the show came out. Yeah. And that, that I like that that's the, if that, it feels like that was the intention. Yeah, we'll see. You know? So, you know, what I will say is I saw a video. It broke my heart at the same time of feeling a little bad about shitting on the movie. Um, there was a, uh, I don't know if you remember. The, feelings the, now. The, the Fugitive. Yes. Um, so one of the cops from The Fugitive. Uh, one of uh, Tommy Lee Jones' guys, not not Joey Pants. Okay, it's the other guy, right? I don't okay. remember his name, but he plays Grandpa in the Monsters. You probably you find his name, and he's got his own YouTube channel. Oh yeah, and look at that. Yeah, and he's um, he was talking about how people were shitting on the movie and mm -hmm. this too. He's like, yeah, this is what it was so much fun. He had so much enjoyment watching it. Yeah, it's a terrible looking movie. I mean, it's terrible. And he was and I and God bless him. For, for really sticking up for his but work. But you can't he, say it looks terrible if if you if you have a set of expectations no, no, to no. compare it to the Adams family, no. yeah. then it's not no. gonna work. No, no, no. Dude, this is this is not this this is a movie that looks I mean it it, it looks like a home movie that was That's made for the, But what cents. if that was the intention? Well, there was a bad intention because it looks bad. Boy, you can't say it was it's, a bad intention oh from God. seeing ninety <laughs> seconds of it. <laughs> I will, it I, could get I, you in. The, uh, we'll, we'll I'm not see. saying it will. Any, anyway, the guy did a tour of the the fugitive scene. The, the bus is still there when it, the crash and everything. Really, the yeah. bus is still yeah, there. He did a tour, but the poor guy fell right before he did it, and he like he's like his head's all bleeding when he's doing it. I felt so, I felt horrible for him because I was like, I really wanted to. See, I, he showed it, but he but he, I was like, what happened if, if he didn't have his phone with him? He would have fallen in the woods like that. Nobody was there. It's just him in the middle of this whole thing. But on I was, his phone. He, yeah, filming he, it. He filmed it on his phone. He, his whole head was all jacked oh. up, and it was it was a disaster. But um, but, but he did he did show the. I did. got some brain leakage, I think, <laughs> folks. So we're yeah. gonna cut this tour a little short. I'm doing too good. I fell. 
Wow. Uh, Does anybody but, else smell burning? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the sweetest guy in the world. The left arm's starting to go. It's like, is that a bus or is that a cloud? I wasn't intending to do this on the tour, but let's see if that bus still has its first agent. (laughs) uh, I need a bit of a a wrap of some sort. I'm telling you, I hope people go and watch it and give a couple more views to it. Because it is a cool video to watch. I I was... Really informed. I was really getting excited to get more informed about that this thing really existed. I love that movie. Future is one of my favorites. It, it's a great movie. I want y'all's honest take on the monsters though, because it's it's uh, so okay. fertile. We're gonna do a watch along. We're gonna do we're gonna do a, a, an actual reaction. I'm, I'm so come. proud you're yeah. making friends. Yes. I, I want you to just have the to just try to at least get what the director was going for with it, because like you can watch something like The Last Airbender, great example. Mm-hmm. You know what they were going for, I, and it just it was a it was a swing and a miss. Every way you slice, yeah. You with the last go, you can go for whatever you want, but, but if you're going for, if you're leaning in on super campy, did you watch the trailer? Yes, it's terrible. I didn't say it was for me, but <laughs> it's I, not for anybody. I feel like, like, remember the Brady Bunch movies? How yes. they had like the astroturf, and they were just sort of making fun of how campy the show was. You're being a nice guy. There's right a now. chance. I enjoyed the Brady Bunch movies, so yeah. maybe They're, I don't know. The, great comedy. I see what you're saying, but I also come on. It's it, don't you start with this now. No, no, I see what he's saying with the campiness, but yeah. it it was it was like it wasn't right. There was something off. We'll see. I'm going in with I'm I'm a, not that is a piece of gold right now though yeah that, that really is like I'm like people are like why would you get I'm like are you kidding me and we even got lucky bro collector's edition I was gonna say it's the collector's <laughs> edition <laughs> isn't it like the first time it's not even out yet and it's a collector's edition yeah I don't know I don't it's know. an all new movie yeah. <laughs> It says it, says it right there. I, I, I it think that's right I think that's the campy factor yeah. that they're going for. Oh, is this is all new movie? I, I know this it's one, like a joke. One guy sitting in a room right now, spinning around with like headphones on, and he goes, "The guy in the tank top gets it." <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with you, Butch. Butch. His name's Irwin. I'm here with you, Irwin Lewis. I will go into this with the best intentions. Okay. I will not. I, 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 I'm not going to go into it with. No, we're not. Gonna, from what I saw in the trailer. Well, let's not lie, though. We Guys, are going to. We are going to. Rob gonna do, Zombie wait, wait. do a director's commentary if it wasn't he good. Doing a commentary. We Feature well commentary with director okay. Rob Zombie. We are. We we're going in armed. A little bit, yeah. I mean, come on. We're going in. I, but, but that's the thing. And, and if you want to mine it for comedic fodder, that's fine with me. The, I think that I'm more reactionary now to the current culture of you see one clip of a movie or, like, people see a teaser and trailer. And you just think it sucks. And they instantly I, write I'm, it off. I'm with you. I'm once, with you. Once, one time in 100, that, that actually helps the production. Sonic the Hedgehog's Teeth. All right. Great yeah, example. First, first of all, Andor. Okay, so Andor is a show that was announced, and I was like, Why? I'm like, why do you need Andor? You don't need Andor. You know what happens we to We know him. what happens. He dies. Right. Who, it, it, this is silly. It's ridiculous to do this show. Right. It's hands down the best written Star Wars show that has ever been. There you go. And just from, and, but again, knowing what they're going for and then seeing the product, which I agree with, but, but <laughs> you still can decipher whether it's good or bad, whether, whatever you were going for. And this movie just looks bad. Monsters. All right. We'll All see. right. We'll I see. just, I, um, mission accomplished for me is that I was able to take the monsters and get Christian to work Star Wars into the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> it's the truth. Equal planes. It's the truth. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else in big, big news kind of coming out. Movies, it's so weird, dude. I was thinking about this the other day where the game has just changed dramatically from when you and I were doing this like all the time. I remember we'd see like a smaller movie. Yeah. And if we see that smaller movie, we would do like 15, 20,000, 30,000 views on it and go, yeah didn't do very well <laughs> right now it's like with movies it's like that's it's it's, it's like tv ratings well it's yeah. also it is it's changed dramatically in in youtube of what constitutes as good views now for in this space because um tiktok mm-hmm. tiktok and the short form content and that type of stuff and and the long form it's such a different it's well, the long form is different but then the reviews themselves it's it just it depends on what it is and streaming streaming changed the game as well we didn't have that when we were doing this. No, nah, that would have been a whole other ball of wax. Oh, man. We would have never gotten out of the damn we studio. Never, we I would have been focusing you, that camera until the end of, until the cows come home. Just trying to get a lav mic on the both of us. Jeez, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to lob up Christian. Christian's jerking off his dog. It's a, <laughs> it was yeah, mayhem. It was, may, it was mayhem. We got to write a book. Um, but no, I'm just saying it's just so different the way it was. Uh, it's the way it is now. And the uh, the algorithm, the way that everything kind of changes. But it's, it is interesting kind of learning about all of it. It really is. 
You're 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 doing a uh, an appreciable job. Yeah, of, well, this thing this of manning all this thing. You got buttons that you're hitting accurately, about an eighty percent success <laughs> rate with the well, buttons. What I was doing, Brett. Brett you got Brett, Brett. You know, Brett's got his OCD thing, which actually wave around the studio, yeah. ripping ass occasionally. But <laughs> occasionally, every other every other twenty minutes. But um, if you're doing manual labor, you're, yeah, I I think that that a fart is par for the course. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I would agree with that. I think that I, it doesn't matter who walks in here. If you smell something rotten, that's because Brett just hung Oy. up that or that. Yeah, it's true. I'd cut my the shit out of my hand right what before you, we shot. Look at fucking it. Dexter over there. I, I was I was gonna call it out. I was I, I, I keep showing it. I bet people are I driving feel, them crazy. I feel like you knew this was coming because you matched your shirt. Yeah. I wanted it's to like do. You knew. You, you, it was. It's true. No, I sliced. I was breaking down boxes, Mark. Yeah. Mm. And How about I that sliced clock? the shit out How about of that clock on a, on a cardboard box. That's that clock was a regular clock until I started blowing ass in here. <laughs> it just melted. It's this little Salvador Dali action. Yeah, Did you? Really <laughs> Did you? Was it a box cut or was it the actual box that cut? Because um, those boxes are. Sh- you talk about a paper cut, cardboard box. You hit it the wrong way. Oh, shit. It'll take- you're bleeding, baby. I am. I, there's a lot of stuff on that shelf. There's one thing in particular that I. I told myself you were going to comment on, and you didn't, and I'm upset about it. I this. really didn't didn't look at it that intensely. Let me see what because, because n- not because I wasn't curious, because but because as, yeah, as yeah, soon yeah. as no, because as soon as I got in here, the only thing you wanted to talk about was well, Storm Shadow, well, which is it's the best, which is logical, yeah. but it didn't really give me a chance well, to appraise right, so, the entire so situation. So take a look real quick, and I'm going to tell you, there's one that I think that. Mark's gonna like the best, and Brett's the one that you like the best. That's that's the one. That's the one I think that he's gonna like. Uh, he's gonna like the best. Okay. Yeah. Once he sees it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. We're we're looking on the show. Yeah, I mean, look, gentle uh, giant contender. Um, my contenders are Bruce Lee. Okay. Oh. Um, my contenders are. Uh, is that is, is that Scott Howard as Teen Wolf cosplaying as Han Solo? <laughs> no, that's 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 the that's the wolf uh, in in episode four. The uh, you know the wolf mask with the yeah. When you see him in the cantina, that that what I. You know, that's the guy. That's that's a good one. That's not the one I thought you were going to oh, pick. Oh right. That's a good one. No, yeah. but I mean obviously you know you see just like kind of lurking there in the corner. This is what this guy does. All yeah. right. He doesn't need to be the star. Yeah. He doesn't need to be the best player on the team. He's just going to sit in the corner and knock down threes all day long, and that would be my boy, fist in the space. Monkey. Yes, that's exactly what I thought you were going. Yeah, uh, he liked him. Yeah, little, Look at him. Little, yeah, he's got his little mustache. Fist in the space monkey looks like. A turn of the century president who has like a horse for breakfast every morning. That, 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 a that's horse a, or a horse? <laughs> Both. Both. You tell me. <laughs> it just depends on the time of day. Yeah. Give me the Babe Ruth breakfast. That's right. A horse and a whore and a cigar. <laughs> I, I never noticed how much Biston the Space Monkey does resemble Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah. Speak sure. softly and carry a huge weapon. <laughs> huge. <laughs> what was I? Oh, shit, I was watching something the other day and I can't remember what it was where they were mentioning. I bet they looked at Teddy. Teddy and his Rough Riders, and they yeah. were designing Fist in the Space mm-hmm. Monkey. I can't remember anything anymore. Man, oh, here it goes. No, it's, yeah, the memory. My memory not, isn't. It's not great anymore. It's. I can still recall crap from like my yeah. childhood, but <laughs> this is this is the problem with modern society is that it's even infected my head. When I forget something, like you know, like when you're walking around and yeah. you're, like, you, where are my keys? And you're holding your keys the whole time. Yeah. I'm now blaming the vaccine. Like, I, I think, is that the vaccine? Is, that, is everybody right? I never for once considered that maybe it's the fact that I do drugs literally every night of my life for the last two and a half years. I do the edibles, and maybe that's the thing that's making the memory a little foggy. The amount of I times I've right tried to, to open Moderna. the door to my apartment with the keyless remote for my car is astronomical. Yeah. I mean, I've, it's like, and, and oh, I've also tried to change the light at a stoplight. With my garage remote. That's, Have you really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that one I've never I don't know what the fuck. Like, where that process, I'd be like, I'll reach down. Like, what am I doing? But the, the keyless remote to the front door. I get it out. Get it ready. Like... That, but like, that, that I can see. The, the, the street light is, is <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's, that's, that's never like, that's, been able to change. That's like, <laughs> that's like that's like three minutes away from a shrug. Beacon of street lights. Yeah, and. This this actually happened. I, I must have been watching a lot of TV that weekend. This is probably 15 years ago. I was at a stoplight in LA, and this guy walked by, and I couldn't tell if, if he was famous or not, but he looked like somebody that maybe I should be recognizing. And I shit you not, this is what I did. Mark Wahlberg. I held my hand out like it had the remote, and I tried to rewind live action. Did you? I really? tried to. Wow. I was sitting. I, might, I maybe I was tired. 
I was of sound mind. Yep. And some guy walked by and I was like, <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, sorry. <laughs> did, you talk, did you talk about that ever? No, I mean, I, I just no, admitted it to it. you. you and it. I felt like this was a safe space to do it. Well, you should do it. You should do it. Uh, maybe you should do it on October 6th, October 7th. And New York this City. This guy's getting good. Once yeah. again, Mark Ellis. Live, everybody. Make sure you go and check out Mark. He's going to be in New York. If you're going to be in New York, and if not, if you're going to be in L.A., then you can go on December 3rd and get tickets to that taping. Now, you said there's a lot of VIP. There's not a lot of VIP. Does that mean that Brett and I aren't going to get tickets? Uh, you guys are going to be busy probably watching the Monsters. At, at that point, that's <laughs> yeah. probably true. Maybe I'll have you all open for me where it's just 10 minutes of you guys watching, <laughs> the, watching monsters. the Monsters. <laughs> and, and then, I, I don't know if you want. I don't know. I don't want to follow we, that. I don't know <laughs> if you want to follow that. <laughs> I'll tell you, that was some of our best material. I get on ever. stage, getting into a lather, bring back the Monster guy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all it is. You just bring, we, we bring out one of the big screens. That was actually purchased on an Amazon wish list. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Brett, sit down. Uh, let's let's talk about how we get into the. Oh, 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 oh. All right, everybody. Listen, it was a fun show. It was uh, good. We had Mark Ellis on finally. You guys been asking. We got Brett Dexter McGillicuddy over there with his one glove, uh, OJ, and um, and that's it, man. So it was a fun show. Please comment. Please like. That's what we're doing here. Amazon. Thank you to everybody who's done that. Make sure if you have joined, first of all, if you have joined the Patreon, thank you so much for doing that. We have a lot of great tiers and especially new ones that we're going to be putting out there in October. And even if you haven't, if you ever put in a like or a comment, we thank you for that. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, if you've done any of that, thank you. And for sponsors, for people like find something that you like. If there's something that can help you out, make sure you go in there get it tell me that you tried it out and tell me if you enjoyed it or not that's how you can help the show and honestly it's how you can help yourself as well too there's a lot of great stuff i'm only taking stuff now that i think it can benefit the audience and that's in the why, bedroom in the bedroom Healthcare. Well, that's right uh well that's why i also wanted to thank carbon health i'm so happy to be working with them i am i was just talking to them the other day and i said i i don't put stuff on my show that i don't believe in and i and i really believe in carbon health so make sure you uh you check them out look at their website go in and 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 try them if they're in your area because i think it's um it's a pretty special thing that they offer all right guys thank you to mark ellis thank you to brett sheridan we love you and we'll see you on the flip side peace